My name is Andrew Jacobs, and uh, I'm a rising senior at Benedictine College. Um, my project, broadly speaking, is titled Magnetron Research and Development. So um, the main reason that we're doing this project, uh, my mentor and I, is that uh, currently klystrons are used to power the accelerator here at Jefferson Lab. Um, the problem is they operate around 50 to 60 percent energy efficiency. 60% um, is actually pushing it. Uh, but magnetrons that we've, the research that we've done so far, indicate that they will operate at 70 to 80 percent efficiency, if not higher. So this would save the lab a large sum of money uh, in the long run. Uh, implementing this into, if you want to power the accelerator using this way. Uh, the only problem is that magnetrons aren't very well understood as a power source quite yet. Um, they're understood well enough to be used like a microwave. That's what you use to cook your food, basically, is a magnetron. However, it's not really a controlled magnetron, so we're looking at how we can control them. And the main way to do this is with frequency pushing and pulling. So that's where I come in. I'm doing characteristic measurements of a magnetron in uh, the lab right now. So the first thing I had to do was build a program that will be able to take all the data. After I built this program, we'll start adjusting different parameters. For example, changing the voltage in, current in. What we're really looking for is how well we can keep the frequency at what it needs to be because the frequency that the accelerator operates is very finely tuned, so if it strays too far off, the accelerator won't function properly. This is my second year at Jefferson Lab. Um, I'm very glad that I came back. Uh, the SULI program has opened up a lot more opportunities and a lot of resources. Uh, just by being at the lab itself, I can stop and talk to practically anyone. Some people that they might not even know my name <laughs> yet. Um, and just talk about anything physics oriented. Uh, actually, last week I remember having a conversation with someone that I'd only spoke to once before and like sat in with a couple meetings about um, plans for graduate school and like talking about, oh, if you wanted to do this in physics, this would be a good school to look at and things that I really did not know. So that's one very specific example of how Sully helped me. But more broadly speaking, just getting research experience in general is something that I don't even think you can put value on it. My home institution, I love it, it is fantastic, but it's not necessarily a research-oriented college. So to be able to come somewhere that all they do really is research and science education is very, very helpful for my future.